As the Senate and House each move ahead on health care reform measures, a Des Moines family is traveling to Washington, D.C. to make their pitch to Iowa's delegation about an issue close to their hearts. Elias Johnson has their story first on 13. But it's been emotional. Um, it's stressful. Galen Thompson has over 35,000 reasons to consider himself lucky. The death rate is the highest mortality rate of all the cancers. Last year, that's how many people lost their battle with pancreatic cancer. Five, six years, ten years, I might not be here, but I'm going to fight until I, until I do leave. When Galen was diagnosed in 2007, his cancer was in the fourth stage. The only way it was discovered was by CT scan. So the imaging is, was huge for me, or I, like I say, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you today. Doctors removed the tumor by surgery, and after a five-month-long battle with his insurance company, Galen finally received a special treatment for his liver where the cancer had spread. If it wasn't for my family, I don't know where I'd be today, especially my daughters. He had to be pushed a little in the beginning, I think, because it's tough, you know. Um, it's tough to hear that. It's tough to think, i got to keep marching on and, and doing what I need to do. It's a success story less than 5% live to tell. Now the family worries that efforts to reform health care in Washington may keep even more from experiencing it. Next month in November, I will go on Medicare. And my fight is to make sure that I keep getting it and then other people in my situation will still be able to get their imaging too. Both the House and Senate's versions of the health care reform bill include cutting Medicare reimbursements for medical imaging like CT, ultrasound, and MRI scans up to 20 percent. The problem is that if they reduce these payments again, as they did in 2006, it's really going to devastate access to care, especially in rural regions of the country. Physicians aren't going to be able to keep offices open and patients are going to get um, uh, the short end of the stick. Tomorrow, Galen and his daughter Shelley will continue their fight in Washington with lawmakers to advocate against the proposed cuts to Medicare. I made a promise to him, um, we will fight. We will make a difference and we will fight if you will, if you will fight with me. And, and he did. I'm going to keep battling and hopefully we can do some good. Galen receives a CT scan every three months as an ongoing part of his treatment. Next month, he will receive one more to see if the tumors on his liver have decreased in size. Tomorrow, he and his daughter hope to meet with Iowa Senators Chuck Grassley and Tom Harkin. John, it won't be their first time. As we mm -hmm. saw in the video there, they spoke with Senator Chuck Grassley on a previous visit to advocate for pancreatic cancer research. Are they going to be alone when they get out there, or will there be a support group of some kind? There should be around 75 people they're going to meet up with. Mm -hmm. Apparently, they know the Capitol well. It should be a good time, though. Okay, thanks very much, Elias. An Iowa State Senator is heading to Washington, D.C. tomorrow as well, joining leaders from other states to push for health care reform votes. Des Moines Democrat Jack Hatch is one of 27 lawmakers from 18 states traveling to Capitol Hill to lobby for a public option in health care reform. The group will meet with Senate Finance and Help Committee members, and that includes Iowa's Senators Charles Grassley and Tom Harkin.